Coming up on today's episode of Airport Unlimited. Strata launch completes medium speed taxi test. Bombardier sues Mitsubishi in Seattle court. And UAVionics announces rebate program. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's October 24th, and this is Airport Unlimited. The huge Strata launch aircraft designed to carry boosters that will carry payloads into orbit completed a key taxi test just a few days after company founder Paul Allen passed away. Strata launch recently reached speeds of about 80 knots on a runway in the Mojave Desert. The plane is expected to achieve its first flight after a few more taxi tests are completed. Earlier this year, Allen explained that the Strata launch aircraft was more than just a vanity project, as some have suggested. You don't build unless you're very serious, not only about wanting to see the plane fly, but to see it fulfill its purpose, which is getting vehicles in orbit, he said. It is powered by six Pratt & Whitney PW4056 engines, the same engines that are used on the Boeing 747, and has the largest wingspan of any airplane ever assembled. The plane measures 385 feet from wingtip to wingtip. It can carry multiple launch vehicles with a total capacity of 500,000 pounds. Its maximum takeoff weight is 650 tons, and the ship can fly for 10 hours. In August, Strata Launch announced a family of launch vehicles that the company says will enter regular service starting in 2020. After the break, XPRIZE Foundation announces new CEO. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Joan Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. XPRIZE has announced that Anu Shanzari has been named as CEO of the organization. Peter Diamandis will continue the role of founder and executive chairman. No stranger to XPRIZE, Ansari, along with her family, sponsored the organization's first competition, the Ansari XPRIZE, a $10 million competition that ignited a new era for commercial space flight. Flight Safety International now offers advanced upset prevention and recovery training for the Gulfstream G4 aircraft. The course is available at Flight Safety's Learning Center in Savannah, Georgia. Flight Safety has also upgraded the Gulfstream G4 simulator to the new Flight Safety Vital 1100 visual system that significantly enhances training by providing highly detailed, mission-specific imagery with vastly improved scene content and exceptional environmental effects. Canadian low-budget airline Swoop has run into a snag in its attempt to penetrate the U.S. market. The carrier had planned to begin flights between Canada and various destinations in the U.S. October 11th, but that has been delayed because regulatory approvals are taking longer than expected. The airline has canceled 24 flights to the United States. During the third quarter of 2018, 
and Breyer delivered 15 jets to the commercial aviation market and 24 business jets, being 17 light jets and 7 large jets. On September 30th, in Breyer's firm, order backlog totaled $13.6 billion. Embraer has forecast a demand for 10,550 new aircraft, with up to 150 seats worldwide, over the next 20 years. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Bombardier has sued Mitsubishi in federal court in Seattle, Washington, alleging that employees hired away from Bombardier by the Japanese company sent emails containing trade secrets before going to work for their new employer. According to court documents, the suit alleges that Mitsubishi and its Seattle contractor Aerotech hired about 92 employees that have been working for Bombardier at job fairs in the U.S. and Canada. The suit named several employees that allegedly leaked confidential documents and data concerning commercial airplane certification in the U.S. and Canada before switching jobs. The goal, the suit claims, was to help Mitsubishi accelerate the process of certification for its long-delayed Mitsubishi regional jet. The suit said that Mitsubishi and Aerotech hired employees ranking as high as the former director of the C-Series flight test team and the former flight test program manager. The suit also names several lower-level engineers that it says send proprietary documents by email shortly before they left to start their new jobs. Mitsubishi denies any wrongdoing and says it will defend itself in court. After these messages, UAVionics announces Rebate Program for Experimental ADSB Solutions. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Teros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. The FAA's $500 ADSB rebate is back on. But unfortunately for experimental and LSA owners, it only applies to certified avionics. For a limited time, UAVionics is evening out the situation by offering up to $150 off of their non-certified product line, including Echo UAT and Beacon. To participate in the program, a customer must purchase an eligible UAVionics ADSB system from UAVionics or one of their authorized resellers between September 15, 2018 and November 15, 2018. Then install the product on your experimental or LSA aircraft. Conduct an operational test flight and obtain a passing public ADSB performance report from the FAA. Submit the required documents on UAVionics web form by January 31, 2019 and you'll receive a Visa gift card for up to $100 to $150. Included in the program are the Echo UAT, which works with your existing avionics. The rebate is also offered on the Telbeacon EXP. Skybeacon is eligible for the FAA $500 ADSB rebate. The company says that they are aware that there has been a delay in receiving the STC for Skybeacon as promised. While they are not able to announce an exact date, the company expects to receive the STC and make an announcement very soon. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report on Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. 
We'll see you tomorrow.